Hey y'all, Dr. Daria here. Many of you have been asking me the question about should you be wearing masks to protect yourself against the coronavirus? So here's the answer and why the NIH are saying that you don't need to be wearing a mask. There's two factors. There's prevalence and then there's how the disease is spread. So prevalence comes down to how likely is it that when you go out in your neighborhood, how common is the active coronavirus infection? How likely are you to come across somebody who actively has coronavirus? For most of us in the United States, this number is extremely low, if it's anything at all, which is why they're saying for most of us in the United States, going about your daily business, you don't need to be wearing a mask. Of course, that number is gonna be different if you live in Asia or in a community where there's a very high number of people actively coming from Asia. But again, for most of us, like me, when I go out to go run my errands or, or go down to CNN, I'm not being exposed to people who actively have the coronavirus, so I don't need to be wearing a mask to protect myself because it's just not there. And the second is how the disease is spread. I've done a second video to, with going way more detail on this, but diseases, infectious diseases spread by three main mechanisms. There's contact, there's droplet, and then there's airborne. Now, airborne's the most contagious. These are the ones like, uh, chicken pox and measles and tuberculosis. These are the ones they are very, very tiny particles. So after somebody coughs or exhales them, they can just remain in the air in a room. So somebody who is infected could leave the room and you could come in and inhale those particles. Those are the most contagious. Then there's droplet. Droplets are larger particles. That's what is currently felt that the new coronavirus is largely split, spread via droplet. That means that somebody actually has to cough it goes out about, it can last about three to six feet and then it dissipates. And so they have, literally have to cough on you to spread the disease. And that droplet is largely how the new coronavirus is felt to be spread. SARS was felt to mostly be spread via droplet and direct contact as well. There was some hypothetical that it could be spread via airborne, but again, the new coronavirus is felt to likely just be droplet. So again, that makes it slightly less contagious which is the other reason why they're saying you don't necessarily need a mask because it's not like you can walk into a room and if nobody is sick is there, can get the illness. Somebody literally has to cough on you. So those are your two factors, prevalence and way the disease is spread. Of course, if you are pregnant or have chronic immune conditions or you're immunosuppressed or you live in an area, have those and live in an area with high prevalence, you may make the decision to wear a mask, mainly because there's not a lot of harm to be done by wearing a mask. I mean, don't wear it while you're driving, but do it not because you're panicking, but now because you know prevalence and how it's spread and you're exercising an abundance of caution. I'm Dr. Daria and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.